Hey everyone, I'm Shana again. We're going to just go over a quick ab workout you can do right in your home. Uh, what we're going to focus on is actually entire abdominal area, lower abs, upper area, and your obliques, better yet known as people like to call them love handles. So, one of the biggest things men and women always want to tie this, so I figured that's what I'd focus on for your tip of the month to show you. So what we're going to do, you can grab a mat, something comfortable you can lay on, lay and flat on your back. Right now we're going to start out, legs up, ankles crossed. You want to have your legs as straight as possible when we do this. We're going to have our hands in, and when we're coming up for a crunch halfway, I want you to pretend as though you're climbing a rope. So we're going to do this at a slow pace. You're going to pull up here, back down, and pull up on the other side. I want you to exhale when you're coming up. Reaching as high as you can reach, all the way up to those feet. Now typically what you could do is three sets of this. You could do 10, 10, and 10. If you want to decrease it, you could do 12, 10, and 8. Now from here, I would have you keep your legs up. Still focus in on the main core area. I want you to come and bring in your fingertips as close as you can to touch each other. They don't have to touch each other, that is tough. So coming around, and then back down. Back up, and back down. Again, you can repeat this for two or three sets. Make sure you're never holding your breath. Exhale, and inhale. And if you notice, I'm going at a very slow pace. It's always better to go slower. Then quicker, you don't want to rush it. Give the muscles time to develop. It's about quality, not your quantity. Now from here, we're going to let that go. A couple of lower tummy area. I know females are big on this, um, as well as males, but it is a bigger concern with females. Putting your hands underneath your lower back to support yourself. We're going to bring your legs up. Keeping them as straight as possible. Bottom of your feet are going to be facing the ceiling. You're going to raise your pelvic area. So you're basically doing a reverse sit up right now. Popping those legs up as though you're stamping the ceiling and then bring them right back. Just little pop ups. If you're doing these correctly, you will definitely feel them. Again, you can repeat this for two or three sets. When you do repeat sets, make sure you're resting for about 30 to 60 seconds in between each set. Now if you want to push yourself on these, you could even put a body wall in between your legs if you have that at home. Or what you can do is lower your legs about halfway here, bring it back up, and then do the pop-up. And release it. Again, you can repeat that. Now, work of the obliques, the sides of your waistline. Come in halfway up, fingers together, feet together. You're going to bring your fingertips around to either side, to the back of your heels, staying up the entire time. If this ever hurts your head or neck, you can always bring your head, your hands behind your head to support yourself. We're just leaving here as is. Coming around, slow pace. Nice head on each side. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now again, that you can push yourself by doing more. Now I know everyone I believe knows the basic bicycle movement. Again, focusing on the sides of your abs. We're going to try and do this what I normally do in my class is we will have everyone in the class do 10 bicycles slow and then 10 fast. If we really want to push ourselves, we're having a tough class, we do two sets non-stop without dropping our legs. What I'll do right now is just one full set for the 10 slow. The key to this is you want to be extending your legs all the way so they're almost hitting the ground and then twisting those elbows towards your knees so you're really getting the most out of the sides. And again, seven, six. You want to be on each side. That's a full one. Five, four, 
We have three left, and then that's when we kick it into gear and do the fast ones. Last one, and basic bicycle, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good, rest. And those are basics for your upper, the middle of your core, the sides, and your lower abdominals. I hope you guys enjoyed my fun tips for the night, and I will catch you from here. Thank you.